ESPN and the United States Golf Association are proud to present second round coverage of the 69th United States Women's Open from Pinehurst Resort and Country Club in the village of Pinehurst, North Carolina. Pinehurst has a proud history as a host of premier women's golf events that dates back more than a century. The prestigious North and South Women's Amateur debuted in 1903 and its list of champions is a who's who including Louise Suggs, Babe Ditterson Zaharias, Hollis Stacy, Yanni Sen, and Morgan Pressel. This week marks the first time Pinehurst number two has served as the venue for the most coveted championship in women's golf, the U.S. Open. 2014 has been a resurgent year for the American women, but an American has won just one of the last six U.S. Opens. After one round, Stacy Lewis and Michelle Wee are well positioned in their quest to win our national championship. Let's go live out to the golf course now, where there's a huge gallery following the 11-year-old Lucy Lee and her group, Catherine O'Donnell and Jessica Wallace paired with her. And Kay Cockrell is following this group. What kind of a day has it been so far today for Lucy Lee, Kay? I think it's been pretty similar to uh, her day yesterday. Uh, she, you know, has made a couple mistakes, has made some nice shots and she just seems to be mature beyond her years going with a nine iron which by the way is what her uh, fellow competitor O'Donnell hit who has a few years on her likes to hit a little draw stay. is that going to stay up there Looked like it for just a second, but it no longer appears that way. Catherine O'Donnell and Jessica Wallace raved about how much fun it was to play with her yesterday, how well she handled all the circumstances. What an 13 or 14 feet. We go back to nine. And Lucy Lee, after her tee shot, spun back off the front of the green. She uh, not only swings the club really well, but she's got a... ...was the easiest hole on the golf course, and simply by moving the tee back today, it has become the hardest. Well, they didn't just move it back, Mark. They moved it back a lot. Mm -hmm. Lucy Lee now for par. After that very nice chip, this is not an easy putt. Downhill, very slick. Dead center. Her second game round in a row, she started with a double bogey yesterday, began play from the 10th tee. Today, she double bogeyed the relatively simple first hole, but has kept... treatment she was receiving, and you remember seeing the physio walk down the fairway with her, and there was incomplete answers, and, and it's just an amazing Go. turnaround. That's the fourth shot for Lucy Lee at the par 5 Go. 10th, and that will need to stop quickly. That mark as uh, some rain begins to fall, first time. Well, she hopes it rains real hard in the next two seconds. <laughs> Stop that ball. <laughs> That's just one long golf hole for her today. That is Lucy Lee now over at 10 with a long par attempt. Yeah, this is a good 90-footer. Rain really coming down hard now. The raindrops here at 18 are so big, they almost look like snowflakes. I do agree it does feel good. It's a refreshing cleanse, but uh, for Lucy, the additional 120 yards on this hole, Dottie, has made it challenging. I had the greatest conversation with Lucy Lee on Putting Green on Wednesday. I said, Lucy, do you have a goal this week? She said, yes, to have fun and play Sunday. I said, that's two. She goes, I know. <laughs> it was just, it was great. She just started giggling. <laughs> And that's been the way all this week at her press briefings. She charmed the socks off the media on Tuesday several times, giggling and eliciting giggles from the grizzled media themselves. My dad likes to play. He's actually pretty good. Can your dad beat you? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, it's interesting uh, in looking at Lucy Lee, and I was actually talking with Michelle Wee and Lucy at the same time, and 
What dawned on me about Lucy is that nobody is pressuring her to act like an adult, not other people and not herself at age 11. When I look back at Michelle Wee, Daddy and Judy, I think there was a lot of pressure on her to actually begin acting more like an adult at that age. I, I think there was a calculation about Michelle Wee when she when she played as a as a real um, as a young player, and, and there does not seem to be that with Lucy Lee. And I also think she learned an awful lot about being on the stage at the drive, chip, and putt. 95 degrees when we came on the air. Nothing's going to ruin her week. She is having a ball and delighting those who are watching. Some of the greats of women's golf are doing at age 11. At age 11, Lucy Lee from the San Francisco Bay Area, sixth graders playing in the U.S. Women's Open. Well, it says this is for a bogey, but for an 11-year-old, I think 10 is a par six today. <laughs> what a great shot. So I'm going to call that a par six for Lucy. Nice hole. That's how I learned to play golf. Uh, my father made what was my par so that I wouldn't be discouraged. Well, we've got a chance. Let's take a little closer look at, uh, at Lucy Lee's swing. And I think the key thing for her is the way she takes the club back really deep, gets it inside. And I want, to, want you to watch the position at the top. It is absolutely textbook. Square club face and then drops it inside a little bit like Sergio Garcia leads with the left side. Very strong, gets off her right side quickly. And then the hoodie takes over. <laughs> Jim McLean is teaching her, and uh, she is off to a great start. Um, one reason I think, Dottie, that club is circular in the beginning and so low for a long time is when you're this small and you play with a longer golf club, you almost don't have a choice. Well, ladies, uh, she hit a beautiful drive here, the only one in this group to hit a fairway, long and straight. She has driven the ball quite well today, only missing a couple fairways. Yeah, for the two days, she's 19 out of 22 in fairways hit, K. That's 15th in the entire field. The problem is she hasn't well taken advantage of the good position. She's 112th in greens and regulation out of 156. She's hit only three greens today, as you know. And, and that's understandable. She's generally coming in with longer clubs and the nature of these greens, but she has a good chance here of getting it on. Just 137 yards. You know, fellow competitor Catherine O'Donnell. Um, oh, what a good shot. Sit right now. No. Stay. Anyway, Catherine O'Donnell said twice that uh, Lucy Lee outdrove her yes. yesterday, so it got her attention. And Catherine was not happy about it, but was delighted to play with Lucy Lee. Such a charming 11 year old, youngest qualifier ever. She won the qualifier near her home at Half Moon Bay by seven shots to get into this U.S. Open. Beverly Class played in 1967 as a 10 year old when she applied to play and was welcomed in. You didn't have to qualify back then, so few competitors at that time. That's obviously changed, more than 1,700. We're back at the U.S. Women's Open. While we were away, Lucy Lee, who struggled out of the bunkers yesterday, was 0 for 7 in sand saves. Not bad. Not bad at all. And now live, a par putt to stay at plus 12. Considered she was short-sided, that was a lovely shot. Go back and look at that bunker shot. Does a really good job of leading with the forward end of the handle. I think a short bunker shot like this, um, she would be well served to learn to move the ball more forward in her stance. It's really hard to hit that little pop up that's um, very soft when you don't have a lot of green to work with from so far back in your stance. At the 12th. The unmistakable action of Lucy Lee. Oh, and another beauty. That was one of her best of the day, long with that little draw. And she's going to need it. This hole's been lengthened. She averaged 235. As we take a look at Lucy <laughs> Lee, I just got some really cool information from Mike Trostel of the USGA's museum staff. He said that Beverly Class had called the media center this morning to wish Lucy Lee good luck. Isn't that nice? And if you're just joining us, Beverly Class, the only player who was ever younger to play in this championship. She was 10 when she played in the 1960s. 
Lee's the youngest qualifier. And she did this all day yesterday. I mean, typical 11 year old. Qualified for the U.S. Women's Amateur last year as a 10 year old. This was the inaugural drive chip and putt, sort of golf's equivalent of the punt, pass, and kick that football has enjoyed for so long. She won her age bracket in April. She's had a nice couple of months. Was the low qualifier at Half Moon Bay to earn her way in. How about 68 at Half Moon Bay in the second round? And here she is. Sean, she says she likes golf because anybody can play. She said you can be fast, you can be slow, you can be short, you can be tall. She's 4'11 and under 100 pounds. Oh, did Lucy. Where Lucy Lee has stood up now and is ready to hit her second <laughs> shot, Kay. Yeah, she has uh, 192 yards, 168 to the front. And I think that's the number she's looking at, that front number. Real good. Great job chasing that right through him. Wow. <laughs> she got a lot out of that one, Dottie. How about that, kid? If there are any naysayers about this 11 year old in this field, they can all to the green. To 12. Where Lucy Lee has this birdie attempt after a beautiful approach. And yesterday, by the way, you were talking about the drive, chip, and putt championship at Augusta National, Sean. Lucy Lee said yesterday that this was way more pressure than that. I have to say, she's very aggressive on all her putts. We were aggressive when we were 11 2K. <laughs> Sometimes it hurts when you watch somebody else at a similar line. This is a great view of Lucy Lee on the tee at 13. Mark, she had the honor on the tee, and she has Very pushed it. Easily okay. tapped in her birdie at the 12th, or par at the 12th. She's going to have some issues over there. First two days. Over 13, Lucy Lee with all kinds of problems now appears to have a terrible lie, Kay. She does. She's right in the middle of the area that's considered through the green. She's not in the bunker, but her ball is right in the middle of all those, all that thick grass. And Caddy Brian Bush trying to help her decide maybe to go alternate way out whatever is the easiest to get some club on it and Dottie of course she could take an unplayable sure if she went backwards Kay she could keep that point between her and the hole and go as far back as she wants with an unplayable line this is where her lack of strength may be an issue did it even move it doesn't appear to have moved. Yeah, the unplayable that you were we're talking take, about. So we're going to take an unplayable. Uh, yeah, okay. probably a little later than so perhaps. Be careful these footprints because she's going to, she has the option of dropping it here in the bunker. Yep. So she could take it back as far as she likes, keeping that point between her and the hole. Okay. Okay. So she From where it lays unplayable. Up. Or she could take it back on this line, or she could drop it two club lengths either way down near the hole. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come this way? She could take it. Drop it. We come back here and. That's Tom O'Toole Jr., the president of the USGA. The point where your ball lays unplayable the between <laughs> you and the hole. So where it lays unplayable, you have to come back on that line, straight behind the flag. I think you come back here because then you got a full club in, and you're not. You don't have to worry about the hump. Okay. Brian Bush is a local caddy. Caddy's regularly here at Pinehurst, one of the 19 who are working with the 156 players here this weekend. 155 now is at Salas with Drew last night. But uh, you also expect a lot of yourself, and you can get frustrated pretty quickly. Okay, over at 13 now, Lucy Lee getting ready for her fourth shot. Yeah, and she has 140 yards now to the hole. I wonder if she's ever taken an unplayable lie in, in competition. <laughs> Not a very easy shot Get up. right there. Get up. Oh, that was really nicely done. Well, they meant get down, not get up. Now so she's she, going to have another ruling. She'll have Thomas O'Toole to talk to again behind the green. Up to 18. A bit of a run on the backside now. 
Back at 13, this is the fifth shot for Lucy Lee. Taking relief from the uh, grandstand. Oh, got a lot of check on that shot. Gorgeous little shot that was downhill the whole way. It really is. We've seen players pitch it off the green from there and actually leave it short of the green from there. And with Lucy Lee, we'll have that on their resume for a long time. It's now for a double bogey, and it would be a pretty good one. She will learn a lot of lessons from this 13th hole today. Probably the first one is there's not much room for a driver for her off the tee. The second is don't ever try and play a shot backwards if, in fact, you could take an unplayable lie and get to the same spot. Handwriting. I've been reading your own handwriting it pretty sticks. well. Yeah, you should have been a doctor. <laughs> oh, it's awful, isn't it? Lucy Lee off the 14th tee. Long hole here, 413 yards. That's more like it. You know, she has fairly fast hips, and uh, I, I, that always makes me think of um, great player. From 198 yards now at 14, the second for Lucy Lee. Man, can she hit some fairway woods? Reminds me a little bit of Paula Creamer, the way she chases after them, the way compresses the ball. How about this oh. one? Most people can't hit wedges that close. That's great. You know that great fairway wood play, you can go back to an old adage. Necessity was the mother. Her stance may have helped just a little bit. After that great shot into 14, here's another birdie putt for Lucy Lee. There you go. And her second birdie today. Fourth of this championship. You hear her fellow competitors rooting for her. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, Catherine O'Donnell and Jessica Wallace have been very classy. They've loved playing with her. And they've treated her very well. They want it to be similar yeah. conditions. And it seems to be going that way for the USGA. I think what, what the, the difference is, talk to a couple of people who were on the golf course earlier today, and there's some fire out there. The guys on Thursday night into Friday, they got that six tenths of an inch of rain. Yeah, so I guess we do need some rain. Lucy Lee can't get the tee in the ground. Um, they got that six tenths of an inch of rain on Thursday night into Friday, and it it changed a lot of things. Is there a toolbox in the house? Get her a bigger hammer. <laughs> well, Do Dottie, all these little intricacies of the game like this, these are things you learn at this age. <laughs> there are really plenty of 11-year-olds who say, Daddy, I can't tee it up. Would you come tee it up for me, please? So. And good Dottie and Judy, I, I love what she said. She good. said she's good at coming back from a bad round or a bad hole. Proved it on that last one. Go. The move with her right shoulder is through impact. That is just awesome. I'm just almost going to clap. <laughs> In our booth. Go ahead. I'm so tickled. Well, I guess, I guess the tee was the right height, Sean. Yeah, Jim McLean, her teacher, must be so proud looking at that. He played a great shot into a green. You know, Judy and Kay, I was, when I was talking to Lucy yesterday after her first round, I had a chance to ask Jessica and Catherine what it was like to play with an 11-year-old, and both of them said she was great. It wasn't like playing with an 11-year-old kid. It was like playing with a professional golfer. All the etiquette was well, well in place for this 11-year-old. It's going to roll out. A lot like Kari Webb's putt. Almost the same spot. You see that green goes away from the player as it gets by the hole there. And that's exactly why we see uh, a lot of balls today feed into that front bunker. Let's go. Four. You're looking from behind Lucy Lee on the big 16th hole. Yeah, she has to hit her best here. Early in the week, she hit a driver and a three wood to get to the front. That's a pretty good start to the hole for Lucy there. That water, by the way, is the old behind the ball there. You don't is... want golf ball. The sand moves the ball. As we pan back from the 16th green up the fairway, Lucy Lee will be away, Kay. She went for the three wood or the five wood. That five wood's been very good for her today. Those were the two shots she hit in tight on 12 and 14 with the five. 
She has uh, 192 to the front, 212 to the hole. Well, if she hits another one like that, I'm going to take Judy's cue and stand up and applaud here. This is not an easy shot. What a swing. Right. Pulled it a little bit. We've got to give her one good bounce before this day is over. That was solidly hit, Dottie. Well, no, for no problem reaching it, though, huh, Kay? No, not at all. And I thought in the practice round she would have trouble with some holes. This morning, shot 68. She's the leader by four. Let's go to 16. And Lucy Lee's third shot from the greenside bunker. This is a relatively easy shot. Uh, she has the greenest sloping slightly towards her. She has a very flat level. Good lie. Came out absolutely dead. Had a nice little thump. Good sound to it. And we go over to nine. From one Lucy to it. This is for her part. Remember, she played it out of the greenside bunker to here. I haven't seen her leave a putt short. I haven't really all seen week her. Long. Mark, haven't seen her hit many bad putts. No, really? she's hit a lot of good putts. She's done a lot of scratching of the back of her head, hands on hips, <laughs> elbows out. Closer to the leaderboard. This was 16. just a moment ago, Lucy Lee for a bogey, which she gets. She has been clutch on putts of that length. So she will have a couple more holes in her. Hey, she likes hockey, Dottie. Big Vancouver Canuck fan, Jessica Wallace, when she played in the British Amateur in 2011, she was waking up at two in the morning to watch her Vancouver Canucks in the Stanley Cup Finals, which they lost, by the way, to my Boston Bruins. But she was playing golf, so. Yes. Lucy Lee. And that's her five hybrid. Go. 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 Might have been a little healed. But that, that thin straight shot, Dottie's not too bad. Then to win. <laughs> And by the way, Sean, I just got flooded <laughs> out of my Twitter account, uh -huh. including an article from the CBC. I know you're going to win. You're going to win. I, you're going down. Sorry, Billy <laughs> Andrade. Andre. It was not my argument. I was just <laughs> representing those Champions Tour Let's, let, let's just say golf is really cool in Canada. Yes, it is. It's Thursday, July 10th at 4 on ESPN2. Also live on Watch ESPN. Lucy Lee now for birdie. That's one of the very few she's left short in two days. Sean, when she won the drive, chip, and putt, she won the driving portion and the chipping portion, then just hung on in the putting portion to win the overall of her age group. That was a great experience for her, too. She said she went down, took a look at Amen Corner. Lucy Lee last to hit with the long drive. <laughs> About just, how long, Jane? Uh, excuse me, Kay. Um, well, she's been pretty much right at 230, 235. She's posing on that one. Wow. <laughs> well, it looked and sounded like great contact, and it was. So she'll have one more chance to delight this crowd. <laughs> She has delighted me, I have to tell you. Oh, I think delightful. this has just been um, really fun to watch. Best press, press conference of the week by far. It's just been fantastic. You know, she spent time in the merchandise tent last year, she, or last week. She was just having a blast being out here during the men's championship, and, and it hasn't stopped. Bought a teddy bear. Bought a teddy bear. In the merchandise tent. And Mr. Lee is going to have to step up his game because uh, he can't beat Lucy. Warren is not beating Lucy anytime soon. <laughs> One of two children, her brother Luke is at Princeton University. And her family must be so proud of the way she has carried herself on and off the course with this incredible spotlight. And by the way, Dottie said yesterday homeschooled, but she is homeschooled through an online program from Stanford University. So uh, she may end up somewhere pretty big time in the education world, uh, much like her brother. Well, the debate at the beginning of the week, was this too much for an 11-year-old to handle? It might be for some 11-year-olds, clearly not for her. And we live in a day and age when the Little League World Series is on TV, national TV, 10, 11, 12-year-olds. Stacy Lewis said she'd like 
11 year olds to be 11 year olds and kind of advance through the ranks one rung at a time rather than jump to the top. But most of the other players in this field are very supportive. And it wasn't as if Stacy said she can't play. She's not good enough to play. I, I think this becomes a rung for her. I don't think it becomes the defining rung. I think it you add to her experiences. And when it's all said and done, you look at the entire experience. Well, and there are some just very specially talented people. And uh, it seems to me as though uh, this little girl is one of those very talented people that's very special but i think she's still having a pretty good time as an 11 year old also and yeah, it looks like Catherine would and then they could go to dinner yes they could and she'll buy <laughs> all right lucy lee how about one last highlight let her make one today Hurry. Hurry. This is a disappointment in our crowd, and now the applause. Judy, go ahead and clap. <laughs> I am clapping for Lucy Lee. Um. I've, I've been really impressed, and I've had great fun watching her. It has been a two day stretch that none of them we'll ever forget. Well done, Lucy. I'm sure we'll see her again sooner rather than later. But Alongside Lucy Lee, who is one of the biggest stories of this year's U.S. Women's Open, you've become the darling of Pinehurst number two, 78-78. A lot of people were wondering how, would, how you could handle this golf course on this stage, and you did it so well. Are you satisfied and pleased with your play? Um, I'm definitely happy about how I played because I'm really happy about how I bounced back from the big numbers. So that's what I did really good, I guess. Yeah. You did. You made a couple of triples, each or one each day, and then bounced right back with birdies. What is it about your personality that allows that to happen? Um, I guess I just say, oh, like, um, that guy could make triple, like, um, Tiger makes triples. It doesn't matter. Everybody makes triples. Just go on and try to get it back, you know? What have you really learned from this week? You know, I know you were here last week watching the guys, but both golf-wise and, and away from golf, what have you learned from this whole experience? Um, I guess I've learned that you got to be patient on the golf course, you know. I mean, especially after those big numbers that really hasn't really happened before. <laughs> I mean, at least, I, yeah. yeah uh, staying patient, and that's really hard to do when you're playing out there in really long rounds on Thursday and Friday. What did you do? You sat down a lot of times on the grass. What were you saying to yourself in between shots? Um, I was just trying to focus on my routine and just hit every shot. And it seemed like you got along really well with the two gals you played with. Yeah, they're really nice. Um, they talk a decent amount, and they're really funny, too, so yeah. You've had a lot of cameras out there following you, and you said that you liked having crowds and attention. What was it like out there with all the people yelling for you? Um, it was great. I liked the support, um, but I was trying not to pay attention to the crowd, just one shot at a time, And but it was, it was a lot of help, yeah. It's just the beginning of summer. What's left on the uh, schedule for you this year? Um, I got the public links in a couple of weeks and the amateur qualifier and a lot of stuff. Well, you said that playing, uh, getting to Augusta and getting here to Pinehurst within a two month span was mind boggling. I think what you just did was mind boggling. You were super impressive. It was a ton of fun to watch you. Congratulations, Sean. All right, Kay, well said.